Uh, you take every you use, single uh, job. Six of them. All of them. But you take oh. fifty. You take fifty. You use forty. I gotta say though, I do field services. Usually we're three, four, five hours from where we work. That's why I got two big ass job boxes, truck hey, with the bed. That, well, I'm like, you know what? That. I just I'll take it all, and I'm not gonna apologize to anybody. All right. So, for yeah. Simon's fat head out of the way. I'm out. Um, so, uh, real quick, I want to talk about just a little bit of safety stuff with a table saw since we're going to be using one. We'll just throw it in there. Uh, this is a safety video or how to use a table saw. This is just some real quick stuff that I think about while I'm working. Okay, so uh, what's, what's there are three tools that will kill us here? Yeah, this is one of them. This trying to kill like, you every time it like runs. This is the first one. So, yeah. um, what I always think about, I talk about this with the uh, circular saw. Uh, same thing. This is uh, there's like a plane that ex extends to infinity. I want to avoid any time of my body going over that plane. Uh, so to that end, when I'm working with a table saw, I want to be on one side or the other because if that thing gets angry and it throws a board out, like you're working with a real cabinet saw, mm. it'll bruise you, break you ribs, your smash your face. Yep. Like bad stuff can happen. So you want to be out of the way in case it binds and kicks the wood out that way. Since the saw is turning in this direction. It pushes the wood down, but it also kicks it that way. So I tend to stay out of the way. The other thing is, uh, it's trying to eat my fingers if I'm not paying attention. So we use um, grip blocks, push sticks. Yep, blocks like this, push stick like that, stuff like that. Uh, when I get, I don't know what the like, I don't know what the proper distance is, but there's a point where I feel like I'm too close to the blade. Whenever I don't feel comfortable with that blade, boom, whatever. I can burn a two by four. If I don't feel comfortable, let it burn up, kick out, whatever. We can go get another two by four. Going to get my thumb put back on. I mean, the hospital's a hundred yards away. <laughs> it's still, I don't want ER is way more expensive than way, the two by four. Way more, way more. So um, that's that, that's like safety stuff. When I'm running a, a board, let's use one that I've already got down to, so I can push it through. So um, like I said, we are we joined uh, two faces so that they would be right flat on the table and against the the fence what I what I want to do is I want to take the side that's the face that's uh, joined and I want to put it against the fence and I want to be careful about wobble you know what I mean so I don't want to pull it like this or push it like that because it'll kick it out it'll bind it up or it'll burn it but instead I want like even pressure against it so to that end I'm feeding it through um, the, the rule is is that the person who is feeding the material is in charge. The guy who's receiving it just receives it. He doesn't pull it. He doesn't push it. He doesn't fix it. He lets me, if I if there's a fuck up, I'm the fuck up. He's just catching it so it doesn't flop out of the end. So, but to that end, I don't wanna, I don't wanna let it rock if I can avoid it. And instead I just wanna have even pressure against the fence. I'll keep my push block if I, if I feel like the, there's not enough room between the fence and the blade, I use push. Or when I get to the end, I'll get the push stick on the end and we'll just feed it the rest of the way through. And then once I clear the blade, he just takes it out and puts it wherever it's going to go. My job is to feed to him. His job is to catch for me. And then we look out for each other. Don't let him get sucked into the to the saw. Don't, don't fall into the saw myself. Um, Cameron likes to use uh, bitch mitts, and that's fine. Uh, in my opinion, if you're feeding... Nothing. You want you want bar, bare hands because a little piece of fabric gets caught into it, gets sucked into it. Man, it'll suck your whole arm in there, and it's a bad day real fast, real real quick. So be careful with these things. They're awesome tools. They're also super 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 dangerous and can hurt you faster than you'll than you'll know. But uh, if you work with them safely, you can work the rest of your life and never know an injury. So um, be safe. Be careful. Use common sense. Don't put your hands anywhere near the blade. Um, one other thing about the, I'll talk about the blade since we were here. I ride about an eighth of an inch above my material or so, enough that my, my teeth are clearing it. Um, so, yeah, a little, so there's a little bit in there. I ride maybe an eighth of an inch high or something like that. Just enough that it comes through the wood and clears it, uh, but not so high that like, I don't know if we run that sucker way up mm -hmm. and I make a stupid mistake like that's nope that's hand action there you know that's 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 how you cut a finger off instead of just that's cut how a you cut that's, that's how you make three and a half buildings a year three and a half buildings <laughs> I make right? three and a half buildings a year so I keep the um, I keep the blade just maybe running like an eighth of an inch or so 
I don't above the material. See it. I can see it. It'll clear the wood and clear the dust. And if I have an accident, maybe I just nick myself as opposed to like lose a digit. Uh, so that's one other thing to think about. Um, anyway, those are just some guidelines. Uh, I could spend 30 or 40 minutes talking about the table saw uh, and still not cover everything. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna run some stuff through. Do you use your push sticks cornered? What do you mean? You're cornered and feed through so you Some, down an angle. Sometimes pressure. I will push you it. Come all the way over. Sometimes I'll push it against ah, okay. this. It depends because we got everything um, joined. I'm not really it's worried. Real smooth. I, yeah, it runs pretty smooth. Um, I don't know. It's like a feel thing for me. There's, I'm sure there are. There's 70 ways to run a table saw, and probably 64 of them are right. Right. There's a whole bunch of ways to use it. It's, yeah. I know people will use them all. I have a buddy that does woodworking professionally, just fine woodworking, uh, carving, chisels, that right. stuff. Doesn't have one in the shop. Hey, well, I mean, if that's if he's like, he's like, it'll, it'll try that. to kill me. I don't want it. Right. It's like I'll do it by hand. Awesome, good for him. It's all hardwood too, so like. <laughs> We don't have, yeah, there's light in it. There's light. Does this thing have a reset? The the delta? Oh, that I don't know. It's probably got a reset. Mm. It was weird because it was running up until it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers clear, hands clear. Yeah. Try that again. Right now. I bet you this is shit. Might have a short in the wire. Might be. I know one of these two big nail ones is it's not bad, right. but it, it's it's flaky.
Still got all our fingers, ears, everything. We're good. So just be safe when you're playing with your table saw.